Hello there guys, it's me, Hrothgar here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to edit the AT Launcher. So, for you, those of you who don't know, the AT Launcher is like Feed the Beast or Tech It. It's a mod pack launcher and allows you to run many mod packs. For example, the Sky Factory mod, the Yaws Cast Complete, and like in this video, we will be focusing on the Crack Pack. Okay, so after you have downloaded the uh, Crack Pack from the Packs page, You'll find it in your instances. Make sure it's in here, and then we're ready to move on to the next step. For the next step, go to Settings, and then it'll pull you up in the General tab. Instead of using the General tab for this video, we will be using the Java Minecraft tab. Switch over to it, and the three things we will be focusing on is the Initial Memory, slash RAM, the Maximum Memory, slash RAM, and the Perm Gen Size. So, I suggest taking your initial memory in RAM and setting that to about half of the RAM in your computer. You can check this by going into your computer's settings. Now for your maximum memory in RAM, just set it a little bit higher than what your initial RAM is. You cannot set your maximum RAM lower than your initial RAM. Once you have figured all of this out, just uh, select the RAM and then you're good to go. Save your changes, and then let's move on to the next step. The perm gen size is uh, very important to have set to 256. If you don't have it set to 256, it can cause some problems, and you can be loading the mod pack for 15 minutes, and it uh, will just crash out of your machine, even if you have all this RAM, which will help you load the mod pack and run things smoother. So. Just make sure this is set to 256, that way you shouldn't have any problems. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Like for more, comment if you're having troubles, and I'll make a new video if there are any other questions. See you later.